Hey, welcome back to No One Survived. In this season, we play with hardcore difficulty settings as shown here, including permadeath, which means I lose all skills and any tech I learned since my last death. Three times the amount of zombie spawn and zombie strength is set to max. Virus death rate set higher than hardcore, so I can die easier from viral infection when my antibody stat reaches zero. Loot distribution is set to rare, so very few containers have loot in them. Not only that, but the amount of loot in the containers is minimal. The loot respawn interval is set to zero, so absolutely no respawn. What I find is what I get. Okay, I may as well uh, get my bags cleaned up here and get this thing going. I do need that iron. Looks like I got a lot of silver now. That's good. And, uh, yeah, I should probably get my bags cleaned up here, too. Get some silver over here and get some advanced parts going. What did I need here? I think it was just wire, right? Let's see if I have any on me. Uh, I've got about three. I'll dump those in there. I think the easiest thing to do is just to get it, all my bags cleaned up and then come in and and look for whatever I need uh, to keep building here. And it's pretty tedious. It does take a while. It's its own little mini game. Curious on the temperature. It's minus 13. It's not that cold yet. It will get cold though. I've got quite a few batteries on this run. Quite a few books too. A lot of pistols. Gonna run out of room in this uh, storage unit here. And that's it. Maybe I'll share uh, book storage with the food crate. Though I don't want to lose any of these. Maybe that's a bad idea. So we got two steel pickaxes here. I'm, I think I'm going to take them out and uh, look at the drilling tool right away. I just got to make some room in my crates there and the best way to do that is to use up some of the material. So that is going to require two steel pickaxes and ten advanced parts. Got four. Waiting on that iron. Had a little bit on me there. I can make five, which will give me, what, 15? I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to use them up, I'm sure. A little bright. Not sure what I was saving that for. I don't know why that's in there. Can 
use this barrel right now. This is kind of my go bag, so I'll uh, I'll leave the ammo in here. This should complete the electric furnace. There we go. It's finally built. And we'll just hook it up to the main power. And now we can finally, finally make steel. And I'm going to need quite a bit of iron for that. Aluminum I'm going to need also, but uh, I have lots of that. And it only takes one per bar, but the iron is three per bar. That's quite the drain on the iron resources. And I definitely don't have as many around here as I expected. So that leaves me with a total of not very much, actually. I thought I had more wire than that, but it looks like I've only got 14 pieces of wire left. I wish you can break down weapons. Like, really wish you could. Rifles? For steel, maybe? Or pistols? Like, break down a pistol for uh, steel? It sure does take up a lot of room. So nine wire, what do I want to spend that on? Probably the water storage. Let's see what this needs here. Uh, it doesn't need any wire, but it does need advanced parts. So we'll dump it into here because I really want the water going so I can grow all year round. Uh, yeah, so that takes five. And a few more toolboxes. We'll start building that right now. And if I need to take it down for the for the material, I will. Makes quite a bit of aluminum also. Five electrical components. Uh, that charcoal I have here somewhere. One mortar and five more steel ingots. I'm not sure if I have that. Let's see if I have the six advanced parts I need. Oh, I do. Look at that. Quite a bit. See if I have any steel ready or iron ready, and I do. So we'll get started on the uh, making the steel in the electric furnace. Only four steel bars. That's crazy. So I I need tons of iron. That kind of sucks, but I do have a a resource here. So we'll start with that. And I need a little, I think I need one more advanced part for the drilling tool. Yeah, one more. Two steel pickaxes. Oh, I got some steel in here. Uh, we will turn. We'll grab a little more copper. And see if I got one, at least one iron bar ready. I don't. It'll be ready in a second here. I gotta get that glass made too. I must have missed the aluminum. I have that steel pickaxe here. I think I'm going to take advantage of it and... I don't know where I put it though. I did find one, didn't I? Like at the uh, at the industrial facility those are old ones there it is I'm going to run out and grab some iron ore. <laughs> I 
May as well get some limestone too while I'm at it. I think that's it for the iron. There might be one more somewhere, but I think that's pretty much it. And this should do it for the water storage. So we'll have water storage up and running. I don't think I can, uh, oh, I can actually add to it. I can probably drop a bottle in there. Oh, I suppose I could fill it that way too. That would take forever. Just see if I can see if it reaches the, um, the headquarters there, the control center. I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, it does. All right, here we go. Drilling tool, two steel pickaxes. I'm still going to have to make one, I think, because I'll need another drilling tool for the well, I think, once it's built. But I think I need the drilling tool just to learn it. But we'll go ahead and craft that. That's a lot of advanced parts. And that's going to take a little while. Yeah, one to learn it, and I may need one for actually building it. See how this greenhouse is doing down here. May as well get started on this now. Planks, uh, 20 planks, simple plastic, rubber, glass. I need five glass, 10 advance, and 10 kilowatts. That's quite a bit. Glad I kept all the toolboxes. Down to five glass and ten advanced parts. See how this is doing here. We might... Um, I just stop the queue here and get on that glass and we'll just wait the I guess it's uh gonna be a while I guess we're just back to waiting. Well, no, this is almost done. I have to cook some more steel here pretty quick. Probably get that started right now. There's a drilling tool. We'll take this iron out of here. Even though I need it for advanced parts, I what do I need more? Well, let's just get this uh, technology learned. 
And we can now make the well. That's awesome. Uh, I'm going to probably put it over here with everything else, I guess. Uh, I do need another drilling tool. So we're going to go ahead and get some simple parts going. Or not simple parts, but uh, advanced parts. Nine plank, five log, and fiber. Sure, burning up the resources pretty quick here. See how the ingots are doing, or the nuggets. I wonder if I should just build another furnace. You know what? I could use the electric furnace, right? Um... I can use it to make iron. Yeah, I'll do that. It does cost power, but that's okay. How many of these steel can we make now? Two bars. Holy cow, am I going to go through that iron quick? We can do two of those and two stacks of those. I think it is a little faster. I think it's twice as fast in the electric furnace. See how my batteries are doing? Uh, they look pretty good. I've only used very little, actually. I'm not even sure if it's going down or going up. It's probably going down. I don't know how often it refreshes. Maybe every minute, 30 seconds. I won't worry about it. Okay, in here we need advanced parts. I got one steel. I can go ahead and make one stack for now. Oh, I do need iron. Just gonna go through a couple workbenches here, make sure I don't have them laying around. Just because I got lazy and didn't put them away. You have some copper in here and rubber. Oh, we got a little bit here now. If I can make two stacks. Ah, uh, the drilling tool. So I've got the steel pickaxe on me. I can use that. I'll have to make another steel pickaxe. I'm not sure if I have that learned. I think I do. No, I don't. Okay, so we got to get work our way down here now. And to get there, I need to learn the steel axe. And then the steel pickaxe. I'm going to need two steel bars. That's going to be a little bit before I can start making more steel. I want to free this one up here. I want to get this glass finished so I can uh, start making the iron in here. Just have a look at what else I can make here. I think I've got pretty much everything down that I can make. Yeah, we're good. I don't know if I have anything in this generator. Like for supplies, just the uh, generator itself. I mean, I guess I can manually fill it too, but there's no point. Hurry up and wait. See how we're doing over here. We have eight. I need, uh, how many do I need total here? None in here. That one's done. Oh, I need to make the drilling tool. That's what I'm saving them for. Ten advanced parts. Man, I'm glad I found that electric furnace blueprint. Sure does make a big difference. See if I have any iron ready. Looks like I need some sleep, so that'll help speed things up a little bit. I'm gonna have to start looking at some food here soon, too.
I'm gonna run out and burn up this uh, steel pickaxe a little bit before I use it for the recipe. So this is starting to get pretty old. Uh, it's gonna start to rot away soon. I might transfer it over to one of the egg benches. I don't have any canned food, that's crazy. I thought I did. Man, that's heavy jerky. Uh, let's see what happens if I drop that, that's enough. And uh, let's look at laying out some more foundation. I can fill those blocks in the front, but I think I'm gonna start working my way back a little bit. If I can get it to snap. Uh, I might have buried those rocks I carried. Oh, oh no, there they are. Actually, I should have a look at that steel and see if it's ready so I can learn the steel pickaxe. I think it takes a little while to make. A couple of minutes. Alright, so we are working our way down here. Samurai sword. That's funny. Um, we'll go ahead and learn the steel pick, uh, steel axe, and now we can learn the steel pickaxe. That's it. I don't have any steel left. Medieval axe. That's pretty cool. Steel mace. Yeah, I guess that's a new name for it. And you can make a square hammer. Interesting. Steel pickaxe takes three steel ingots and one stick. I got the stick. I don't have the steel ingot, so. See how that iron's doing? So slow. Just have to wait on it. I'll run out and uh, grab some rocks. I thought I saw a mushroom spawn near the ore field there too. I'm gonna need that food real quick here. I didn't realize I was out of food. I can get some fish too, I suppose. Make sure all my bags are in here. Thought I saw one, and then I, I tried to find it, and I, I couldn't find it, and I kind of lost it. But I thought there were some mushrooms, like three of them, somewhere around here. Oh, I think I see them. Yeah, there they are. Mark the location. And that should give me enough carbs. I can get fish too, but that was just a, an easy fix. Main reason why I'm collecting the rock right now is because I have this pickaxe, this steel one. And I and then the the the, uh, the new one that I'm gonna make too, I'm gonna use up before Whoa, what the heck? Um I wanna use it on rocks. Because they're super fast to break down rocks and uh, they're just going into a recipe anyway, right? May as well take advantage of having it. Holy cow, that's a bandit camp. I didn't realize I was that close. I'm like, oh, I didn't... I thought it was my home for a second there and... No, those guys got guns. A lot of guns. A lot of bullets. I think I liked it better in the past when you could um, get rid of rocks and trees and they'd stay gone. Honestly, you know, that's, uh, especially for building around your home, like, I don't know, it's, I don't know, best of both worlds, I guess, you get, it's nice to have them around when you need them, but 
uh, before I was like taking out trees and rocks that were in my way, like my my driving route, and that would really help with uh, keeping my car uh, in tip top shape. Big storm coming in. Let's see how cold it gets. Let's see if I feel this. It's minus 17. It's not too bad. See how that steel is doing. See if I can get that steel pickaxe started before I eat some food here. Or wait, no, I was doing iron first and then making steel. Really going through the water like fast. Usually every winter I do. Get cleaned up. And we'll start with two of these. So I can make that pickaxe. I'm pretty sure that's what I needed was two. Oh, I need three. That's a lot of steel. That's too bad. That's like nine advanced parts. I got this spot mark too. I got some more mushrooms here. Uh, I don't really, well, maybe I'll grab two. I think it was only three here. I can't remember. I grab all three. What the heck? I'm going to start making signs. I think I can read the signs from the map. I have really used them since uh, the first map. I, I don't know if making a sign will uh, show you what, what's on the sign, like on the map. If it does, then I can label everything mushrooms, meat, rocks, whatever. Oh, well, that pick's almost done. I was gonna store some rocks. Well, I can use it. Maybe, maybe I want more rock here. I just don't want to be overburdened. I think that's enough. Oh, there's some iron here. Uh, I'm gonna make a stone pickaxe and grab it. Is that iron? No, that's just a rock. Never mind. Yeah, I'm feeling the cold now. Let's get into my shiny... Well, I guess I can wear the pants. That should be enough. Maybe I'll just swap my pants out. Actually, the jacket would be better. It would give me way more protection. So we're at minus 39, and that will protect me to minus 45, so that's that's awesome. It's not good for defense, but it does what it needs to do. Now I'm overburdened. There we go. Uh, so I've built backwards here. I think usually I have the control center in the very back of my compounds. I'm going to build a big compound here, by the way. Um, but I think this one here, I'm going to have at the very front and then put all the accessory buildings behind, like the housing and the canteen and, and that sort of thing. That's why I'm building back towards this here. I should have, originally I should have, uh, connected to this and built out, but I think what's going to happen is if it doesn't line up properly, which it, I, I highly doubt it will, like that's basically a lottery ticket to guess, uh, you know, where to place a stone away from here so it lines up. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna end up taking this all down 
and probably rebuilding it. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I'd like to fill these up in the front too, but I know those zombies are fairly close and they they start to wander once they pop in. I'll just go ahead and do it though. There we go. Uh, I might get a zombie or two wander over. Let's see how this is doing. Let's see how the fuel is doing. And I should have enough steel now to make a steel pickaxe. I do. I'm going to pull all of that out. See if i got room for this jacket somewhere. I don't think I do. Oh, maybe. There we go. Get that steel pickaxe started. Be nice if I had another pickaxe somewhere. Uh, and that takes 10. Just want to verify. Do need another drilling tool. Yeah, 10 advanced parts. So as soon as this is done. Actually, that's not very long at all. I think that was shortened. Or that's been shortened. But I'll probably end up using this up a little bit for some, uh, um, for some rocks. Before I burn it up. See how many more steel we can get out of here. Another three. Uh, and there's my pick. Trade it for the iron one. Just gonna wait for one bar and then I'll uh, uh, make one stack of advanced parts. To at least get that going. Okay, time to get some more rock. Oh joy. got some airtime there i think i even exited the vehicle look at that right there you don't even see it but there's a huge huge bump oh yeah there's quite a bit of rock up here like lots good to see Got the simple parts. I was gonna actually make a sign. Uh, see what take what it takes to make a sign. I think it is simple parts. I guess I can do that now. But street sign. Yeah, one simple part. I should have brought material with me to do this. I would have marked this area for rocks because when they're all together like this, it sure does save a lot of time. So my stamina is coming back a little faster. I wonder if that's got to do with the cold. Like the closer I am to freezing, maybe not necessarily freezing, but the closer I am to freezing, the slower I regain my stamina. That would be a really cool little detail, like added to the game. That would be neat if that was the case. Then I'd be uh, in full Christmas gear whenever I go out to uh, gather materials or gather uh, supplies, resources, whatever. Gonna get a big compound built. Still not 100% on my location, my build location, but like this area down here, I'm still not convinced that I picked the right place, but it, it has its benefits. I think I would have picked an intersection with a bigger ore field nearby. I didn't realize that the iron was uh, pretty limited. Same with the rock. I'm gonna need quite a bit of rock. It's pretty bright, isn't it? That's uh, a little better. Hope I don't run into any wildlife. I don't think I've been up here before. Maybe I drove through here? No, I haven't. Whoops, wrong bag. Well, I can use this one too. And like I was saying before, I'm just out here long enough to burn up this pick or to get it close to... Uh, destroyed better do it this way than to use a, a stone pickaxe and i can't really afford the steel right now even though i can make it i'm having issues uh supply issues with iron i 
must be burning through a little bit of fuel too doing this. What I have left the, at home is pretty much all I've got. Uh, there are a couple gas stations I haven't hit in town yet. But, you know, by the time I get out there and clear them out and get back home, the amount of fuel, the gamble, it's going to have a look at my map here and make sure I put my bag away. The amount of fuel I get, I, I might only get one barrel and that might not even pay for the trip out and back. Last season, that last industrial uh, site that I took out um, had a ton of fuel. Like, I filled a crate full of fuel. And this time around, I only found, I don't know, three or four barrels. So the map, it's funny with the loot, like especially the ground loot, not knowing what you're getting when you're generating the map when you first start the game. The real gamble, last season I got tons of simple parts and this season I had such a hard time finding them. I had to make quite a few. Uh, and now with fuel, I'm not finding near as much as I did last season. Uh, wire's another one. I'm sure there's some things that I'm finding more of this season though. I don't know what. I don't remember what actually. I'm just waiting to hear that howl or that the sound of the wolves. Wolves. I'm fairly close to a uh, four or five mushroom uh, spawn, so I might grab those. I do have some on me. That'll be a lot of mushrooms to cook. Oh, that put me over. Well, that's one full military bag of rocks or stone. It sure looks like a lot, but once you start laying out the foundation, it go you go through it really fast. Or I do. I like everything connected. I do use quite a bit. Lots of rock up here. Yeah, as much as I want to get that well built, I want, I'm going to need the stone eventually. And, uh, you know, taking advantage of the stone pickaxe, it's it's a night and day difference between the, the, the other pickaxes, like for time that it takes to break things down. It'll be worth it in the end. I totally regret not doing it. Let's see where I'm at on the map here. Yeah, I'm pretty close to those mushrooms. I do kind of wish that I had a canning thing going so I can, like, when I do take advantage of the uh, the mushroom spawns, I can can the food. There's lots of rock down there, too. I'm just going to drop these ones. Oh, that's my full one. Should give me a few more slabs of uh, foundation. Pretty much straight ahead. And that pick has probably got another, I don't know, half dozen rocks in it before I, I can go back. Oh, I see some mushrooms there. That must be it. Yep. And there should be two more here. Having a hard time seeing them. I could just leave them. I mean, I think I'm... Well, there's one there. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that, because that's uh, pretty much overkill. It's a waste of food. We'll start heading back. Oh, my God. I saw it happening before it happened. I'm really curious on the condition of my vehicle. Well, at least I can use a repair kit now. Not that I want to, but that'll free up some room. Lots of rock right here. Tons of rock. Like, so much rock. I think that's good enough. Should be able to finish up that jerky too that I have. Or not, maybe not all of it, but some of it. I don't mind if the rest of it rots. But I 
do mind the fact that I'm going to have to go out for uh, more meat. Oh, jeez. I'm, st I'm stuck. Oh, that's so comical. I wonder if my iron um, respawn. I don't see any. Let's get that drilling tool started. And uh, there we go. Now we'll wait the however much time that is, five minutes or less, four minutes. See how I'm doing with the fuel in here. Oh, that put me over. I should get rid of some of these rocks, eat some mushrooms, some jerky. Okay, what do we got here? We got two, four, five, six, seven. So we'll take uh, two per minestrone. That'll give me two minestrones. That should be more than enough for now. See how this is doing here. Get some more steel going. Sure is a lot better than having to look for steel tools out in the wild. Man, I love that thing. Large minestrone. Stats are looking pretty good. I might get cleaned up a little bit here. I'll just wait this out. Ah, uh, maybe not. We'll see if there's any steel in here. There is. And we'll make a bunch more advanced parts. Gonna run out of aluminum eventually here. Like, look at that. Pretty Getting pretty low now. That means I'll have to do a uh, total, a big loop to all the different mines. But before I do that, I'm going to try to use up all the saltpeter I have. And that way I can, um, you know, get a better idea of how much of each I need. Oh, I need iron. That's what I need. Take that drilling tool and put in some iron. We'll make a couple of these. So we'll have six more total. No, we'll have nine more total. I have enough for nine. And we'll take that repair kit. And put that in my car right away so I don't forget. Looking good. What a mess. I can't run through anywhere. Here we go. There we go. We got a water source. Like a, a good water source. An endless water source. And I can clean up here too, which is awesome. I don't have to use my container at all. That's really cool. All right, we don't have a water source connected. We'll connect the well, and we're going to go ahead and fill this up. Should start filling up. Yeah, there we go. And now we can have a water source for the greenhouse. We're going to build some hydroponics boxes. And I won't ever have to worry about coming back here to water my plants. They can just grow. We just need one more stack of those. And I'll have enough to finish this, I think. Yeah, three more. I'm just wondering about having it on the ground or if I should put it on a slab. I am going to expand that out quite a bit. Like, it's going to cover most of this area. We'll see. I can always break it down and rebuild it, provided that I uh, still have the ability to. Oh, yeah. Greenhouse, here we go. This is uh this has been a long time coming. There it is. It's complete. It's got a snowy floor, but that's okay. Maybe that'll disappear. That's awesome. I can grow all year round now. How do I hook up a uh, a water source to it? Do I do that here or do I do that in the in the box itself? I'm not even sure if I know it yet. Hang on. 
hydroponics box. I need six iron ingots for that just to learn it. I'm pretty sure I don't have that. I don't know how to use a greenhouse. I think I only ever used it once. Maybe it could just be an empty building and I'll have to... Oh, I got two doors. I didn't know that. I got three doors. Cool. It looks neat though. It's a nice, uh, a nice build. Once I get NPCs, I won't really need it, will I? That's a good way to store material, I guess. Let's see about that iron. See if I have any here. I don't think I have six. I don't even have one in there. And in here we are... Oh, we stopped producing. I'm just burning gas now. Okay, well, we'll get... How much aluminum? Oh, I can still make some aluminum. I really need that. And we'll make a little more silver too, sure. All right, we can hook the water source up to this, but I won't do any of that until I get an NPC. I won't even hook up the power yet. Speaking of power. Better keep that one single thermal generator going that's running this whole camp. That's crazy when you think of it that way. You know what I might end up doing because I don't have, oh, I should, you know what? I got that water source. I'm going to make a sink so I don't have to keep cooking water here. Should I? I think I should. It's one of those quality of life things that I really like. Water purifier, three advanced parts, and then some charcoal for this guy. I'll learn that now. So we got the filter. And three advanced parts for that. I should have that. I have exactly that. But I'll probably need more to, to make one. Uh, let me think here. I'll just do it. All right. Let's see what it looks like here. Nine advanced parts. I don't know why you need all that for a, a faucet. Mm. So, yeah, I need iron. So what I was thinking about doing is actually heading out to an actual ore field and, and mining iron. I got to figure out my layout here too, because I have a feeling I'm going to be losing this, uh, this whole setup here. See if I can sneak it in here. That's a good spot for it. I think plank, charcoal, rubber, plastic, steel, and toolbox. Glad I had that rubber. I think the filters are made over here. Yeah, so two stone and two charcoal per filter. They last a little while. I don't need to make too many, I don't think. I'll just make two for now. Six iron ingots. I should get on that. Oh, I've got some here, some nuggets. It for the rock like i said it doesn't go too far but this is getting bigger man we got so much room to expand here it's gonna be awesome i'm really uh really looking forward to it got some iron nuggets on me i should i can probably just use this one here i don't have too many though
Okay, we are going to... Uh, simple parts, that reminds me. I want to make some signs. I want to see see how that works. It's been so long since I made signs. I don't think the description shows up on the, uh, on the map. It might, though. If it does, that would be great. Where am I? I think it does show up. I just can't get onto it here. Oh yeah, look at that. That's perfect. So we'll grab, I don't have a lot of simple parts, but we'll grab some and start putting signs out. Make it a part of my go bag, which is going to take up a lot of room. And we're on day 33, almost day 34 of winter. It's all, yeah, it's about a third of the way through. Maybe I'll eat up some of these rocks here. That'll be it for this video, and you know what to do to show your support. Appreciate all the comments. Thanks for watching.